Well, it's a growing debate in this historic community. There's been a mass reckoning underway across U.S. politics and popular culture when it comes to racist perceptions. This is what democracy looks like. Sparked by the killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis and awakening of the country's consciousness. First, the Redskins take over at their 49-yard line. It was the NFL team in Washington that ditched its offensive mascot. Then, popular food producers changed their branding. And even Grammy Award-winning country music group Lady Antebellum only identifies as Lady A. Now neighbors in historic Indian village in Detroit struggle with their own name. The neighborhood itself is divided right now, and so we're hoping that through conversation and, and, and social justice action that we can, we can really change minds. To me, it wouldn't make sense to change the name because if you're going to change the name, what are you going to change it to? The upscale community dates back to around 1893. Detroit Historical Society says the name Indian Village was reportedly chosen for its sales appeal and not because there was evidence that Native Americans had actually ever lived there. Jared Tenbrink moved his family to the community eight years ago and says it's offensive to his heritage. So I'm a enrolled member of the Natawasepi here on Band of Potawatomi. But using the name Indian Village to help sell homes and create a neighborhood character, I think that's a racist act. Mary Wilbert has called Indian Village home for 31 years. And when I was little, my dad would put us in the car and he would drive our family through Indian Village. The village uses symbols and words from the Native American culture all the way down to a newsletter titled Smoke Signals. In no situation was the naming done in what I would consider a good way, a way that actually lifts up and empowers people. I'm an African-American woman. If I'm going to purchase a home somewhere and the name is derogatory to me, I'm not going to move there in the first place. A lot of emotions as this conversation continues. So what happens next? We reached out to the Neighborhood Association president. He could not comment. However, Carolyn, we do have a statement from the association and we have it on our website, WXYZ.com. Live in Indian Village, I'm Rudy Harper, 7 Action News.